हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ अभी विल स्टार्ट अवर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फर्स्ट पार्ट जनवरी वन सो स्पेसिफिकली दिस सेशन इज डेडिकेटेड टू द वन स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक दैट इज वेक्टर बॉन्ड डिसीजेज सो आई हैव टेकन ऑल इन टू अकाउंट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिसीजेज दैट आर रेलिवेंट फॉर अवर एग्जामिनेशन एंड वील डिस्कस दैट ओके सो सी इट एज मोर एज अ कंपाइलेशन वीडियो रादर दैन मोर ऑफ अ करंट अफेयर वीडियो राइट ओके सो टेक द फुल एडवांटेज ऑफ इट बिकॉज आई हैव कैप्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द फैक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द डिसीज दैट आई हैव डिस्कस हेयर एंड ओनली ओके राइट सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट वॉट इज वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिसीज सो वैक्टर बॉन्ड डिसीज आर बेसिकली फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर so vectors are basically as they say small organism that carry some serious disease so they are the carriers basically right so they transmit the pathogen or parasite from one infected person to the another that means the pathogen will not be transferred from this person to this person directly like for example in corona virus it is getting transmitted from this person to this person directly however it get transmitted through a vector or you can say through a middleman sort of a thing so he takes up uh, pathogen from them take it up and deliver to it right so these are the vector bond diseases okay around 17% of all the global burden of the infectious diseases are caused by the vector bond diseases and that is why vector bond diseases and their study their prevention becomes really important one of the most deadly one is malaria now we have already discussed malaria i have kept malaria here for the revision purposes so as to complete the whole uh, compilation thing right okay so this is what it is here so this is from who only so they say around 17% of all the infectious disease causing more than 7 lakh deaths are caused by the vectors whether it be parasites whether it be bacteria or there can be viruses okay all right so i think i hope you must have seen this diagram in our on our channel so vector bond diseases if we classify it with respect to the vectors so first is aedes then anopheles these are types of mosquitoes culex mosquito then ticks and then the sand fly right majority of the more important disease that i have covered that are relevant for our examination so within the aedes chikungunya dengue yellow virus and zika once upon a time a question have been asked with when the zika question was asked so they have asked that zika virus is caused by the same uh, species of the mosquito that also causes chikungunya dengue and yellow fever so it was a right option okay then anopheles is responsible for the malaria then culex responsible for the japanese encephalitis we have already read about japanese encephalitis lymphatic filariasis no sorry we have not read about this we have read about lymphatic filariasis elephantiasis right west nile river then this disease we have already discussed can uh, canasur forest disease monkey fever endemic to the indian uh, southern part of india then kalazar we will see today okay let's start one by one starting with the aegypts aegypti so these four disease we will discuss starting with chikungunya to so, chikungunya it shares the symptoms same such as dengue and zika and that is why misdiagnosis is very much possible one of the prominent uh, uh, symptoms of chikungunya is muscle pain and the joint pain okay the joint pains is a big problem like one of the um, what we say major symptom of this particular disease right through infected mosquito obviously so severe fever and severe joint pain okay so there is no cure for the disease and the outbreak is also found in many of the uh, developed countries including the america so please remember that so if the question many times is being asked that uh, it is also being found in america then it is an outbreak is also been done in the western countries such as america so there we can get confused okay why in america because they are uh these disease are more or less uh, more or less spread into the tropical regions because of mosquito but it is here mostly it occurs in africa asian and subcontinent but it is also there in america right so these are the things uh prevention is better than cure and all these because obviously when the viral thing are there i've told you when i was discussing about bad bacteria versus the virus that antibacterial uh, medicines are better antiviral drugs are not too much effective right as compared to the antibacterial uh, antibacterial uh, medicines against the bacteria antibiotics right and this is why many of the time for virus prevention for example many of the patients are recovering from corona why they are recovering because they are they are taking rest their immunity is increasing and that is why they are they are able to fight it out the 
virus. And same is there with the this these things. So they are saying that prevention is better than cure. Similarly, in the case of Corona, the lockdown is based upon this idea that we need to prevent it. Cure can be done, but it is better that if we able to prevent it. So as I was discussing, it is also there in the USA. These reasons are common, but this is where we can get confused. Okay. So uh, currently news are there that we have developed a new biosensor technique to record the chikungunya virus. Right. Indian scientists have uh, have uh, developed a new technology. Okay, so there it will lead to rapid identification of the disease, a part of the prevention part of the disease, right? So suitable for mass production, low cost, high disposability. Earlier we used to do this RT PCR test for chikungunya. Like for now also we do it, but the biosensor technique is a evolution over it. So real time polymerase chain reaction. If your question comes, RT PSR is used for so it is used for chikungunya. You can remember like that. Okay. So next one is IMD that is Indian Meteorological Department is also working on forecasting a system that will give the 14 day warning on the likelihood of the malaria or the chikungunya outbreak. Right. If there is any possible outbreak of these diseases, the IMD will give us some sort of indication based upon the past analysis or based upon the future projection of the rain or the atmosphere like that. Okay. Right. So one uh, Siddha medicine has been used earlier. It was used in 2017 by Tamil in Tamil Nadu for treatment of the dengue. Now it is being used for the treatment of the chicken guni also. This name is Neela Vembu Kudinir. So this question can come directly Neela Vembu Kudinir. What is this? So it's a Siddha medicine. Siddha originating in the Tamil Nadu, one of the part of the Ayush system. Okay. Ayush in Ayush S is Siddha medicine. It shows an antiviral activity that is treatment for the chicken gunia, right? Told you, no? very less antiviral things are available and this is acting as an antiviral. Okay. It has been used in the dengue. Now it is being used for the chicken gunia. However, some people in Tamil Nadu have said that they have caused some sort of issue in the fertility and many of the abortions also. So still a lot of uh, scientific, uh, what we say, evidence is not there whether these Ayush medicine are working or not. For example, IMA says that Siddha medicine is not a scientific technique. So they categorically denounce this Siddha medicine. So that's a problem with the Ayush standardization and their application then dengue let us discuss dengue so dengue is basically what happens you know uh, you must have seen outbreaks of dengue around you especially in delhi around uh, two to three years back so what happens low level of blood platelets so many of time blood platelets becomes a big issue okay so you must have seen the milk of the goat becomes a very costly because many people say that milk of the goat contains a lot of has ability to uh, as help can help body to produce many platelets right so again dengue is a vector borne disease and caused by the Aedes aegypti now in the recently in the spain spain health authorities have confirmed that first first case of the dengue being transmitted sexually until it was transmitted only by mosquito so along with the vector borne it has also become a sexually transmitted disease so please remember that so if the third option or second option of any question on the dengue comes so it will be right that a case has been found where it has been found to be sexually transmitted okay then uh, yeah so where it is basically as i told you it's tropical and subtropical country and it is said it is not only prevalent to the like uh, normal slums or very poor area but also in the very affluent area this can be present Okay, the same thing as I discussed vector borne disease, so unaffected mosquito touches the affected person, then it carries the uh, infect with the dengue throughout its life and it keeps on infecting the other people. Okay, so as I was telling, it is more prominent you can see in the tropical or the low income countries. It is where the risk is really high, especially in India, you can see a risk is really high. So symptoms, majority of the symptoms are common symptoms, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach ache, pain in the eyes. Right. One very important discussion is bacteria Wolbachia. So this is really important. We need to discuss this. So bacteria Wolbachia, what is this? So it is that the mosquito 
in the mosquito the bacteria will be inserted in the mosquito the bacteria will be inserted right so when the there it has been seen the positive correlation with the present of the Wolbachia bacteria in the mosquito and it will throw out the uh, dengue virus out of the uh, out of the mosquito getting my point so if the bacteria is introduced into the mosquito it will throw out the uh, virus for example you see here so bacteria compete against the virus like dengue in the mosquito and eventually out throwing them so we inject the bacteria into the mosquito deliberately so that's also called the biocontrol method of fighting with the disease okay biocontrol method of fighting with the disease now this volbachia will mate with non volbachia and produce a vol volbachia contain of spring and it will again mate with this and then again this right so overall it will reduce the mosquito which have the uh, dengue virus getting my point so mosquitoes are artificially infected with the volbachia restraint and it is said to be one of the biocontrol method it being i think tested in the australia to handle this particular disease okay right next is one vaccine is also in the news then dengue vaxia right however this medicine is not very uh, too much research is not there um, first ever vaccine license for dengue it has been approved but however uh, this medicine this vaccine its effect on pregnant women its side effect so it is not very clear whether it is very safe to use or not right so still a lot of research is required for this vaccine and this is the same reason why the covid vaccine will take a lot of time to covid uh, and covid 19 vaccine will take a lot of time to build because even though on the onset it can show a really good symptoms okay it is fighting it however it can cause unknown side effects okay what will be the side effect on the pregnant women what will be the side effect uh, going forward so it may it may uh, lead to another problem so these things need to be a lot of human trial testing needs to be done before the vaccine becomes available for the common people next so majority of major two important disease that we have discussed chikungunya and dengue now we discuss yellow fever very quickly so yellow fever it is called yellow because it caused some sort of yellowness in the eyes just like the jaundice okay again a vector borne disease that's what we are discussing it okay so yellow fever uh, there is no vaccine sorry vaccine is available for the vaccine is only the way to prevent yellow fever okay right so remember because many of the time question last time question has been on hepatitis b or hepatitis c whether vaccine is available or not so for b it is available c it is not available so many of the time question are framed around that only so if the question comes on dengue is vaccine there so yes vaccine is there so it will be in the answer in the affirmative yellow fever is not very important for us because it affects more or less countries in south america and africa so not very important for india for our examination because we are more concerned with dengue and chikungunya so questions will revolve around that only okay right next is zika zika question has already been asked on zika so uh, zika is a mosquito borne flavivirus identified in uganda in 1947 right and later identified in the humans also with zika what you need to remember uh, are two symptoms okay two symptoms uh, what we need to remember first is micro cephaly that is a problem in the child right so you can see the facial distortions are there its head size is very small some sort of dwarfism is seen delay in the speech and the movement so this is micro cephaly now it goes to show in the child that means it is a sexually transmitted disease also from mother to child it will be transmitted okay right so uh, next syndrome is gulen bear syndrome so it happens in the uh, in relatively old age it causes the nerves damage it causes a lot of damage to the nerves and that is why a lot of sensations a lot of sensations are felt many a time it can lead to the paralysis also so this syndrome is also associated with the zika virus okay so it is uh, the same mosquito as i told you same mosquito transmit dengue also transmit chikungunya yellow fever okay and sexual transmission of zika virus is also possible 
right so two ways of transmission first as we discuss mosquito to human and second is sexual transmission treatment uh, so there is no specific treatment now the vaccine uh, is being getting developed by the us scientists some scientists are developing a plant based zika vaccine however again as i told you it is again in the research process india in india zika threat has also reached bihar, bihar so some of the cases have been reported in first of all in ahmedabad and now some of the cases are now reported in bihar the it has been argued that india again can face a problem we can see in the covid also though the cases are not as high as in the other countries however the problem of the zika can be there vulnerability is what we have like poor health infrastructure lack of effective vaccination effective awareness and after care if this particular syndrome is found in the child then what will happen to the after care so that's a bit problem so these are the four disease that we have discussed with the aegis aegypti next we see anopheles so anopheles we have discussed malaria malaria last time we have seen in detail right we have read about malaria different different programs of malaria preventable and curable it is very difficult to create a malaria vaccine we have already discussed that right so vaccine has come rtss however this vaccine has not been very successful very partially successful then we have discussed world malaria report how india reports like majority of the cases are in africa but however india also reports a lot of cases however india has also em emerged as a very effective uh, as a country which has able to control malaria at a very effective scale then we discussed global uh, who global malaria program also so please see the previous video we have already discussed that all the discussion based upon diseases i discuss in the science and tech session 1 human health and disease i discuss in science and tech session 1 okay right then we discuss colex so colex uh, first is japanese encephalitis so japanese encephalitis is it's a mosquito borne viral infection right so there is no cure for the disease and one of the problem is that you can see here these are the hosts of the virus in which the virus resides a lot of pigs ducks okay the water birds these are the host in these are the there where the virus resides now these culex is a vector it can take the virus from here and infects people so there is no people to people transmission of je okay jafin is there is no people to people transmission however the transmission is through to vector right now je also affects in this region only asia and south east south asia and south east asia so please remember that the uh, including china east asia also so these are the countries majorly affected by the je not all the other countries okay japanese encephalitis you can also remember that now it was in the news because a lot of cases in bihar in gorakhpur the uh, the home state the home place of the yogi adityanath many of the children's have died as the je japanese encephalitis causes a lot of death of the children okay one of the disease uh, vaccines have been identified for genvac so this vaccine is the genvac okay so first vaccine to be manufactured in the ppp model between icmr and bharat biotech next is lymphatic filariasis so we have already discussed triple duct therapy and lymphatic filariasis in two point last time we have discussed triple duct therapy and before that we have discussed lymphatic filariasis a disease called elephantiasis so like it is called hathi paw so when your uh, uh leg becomes swollen right so india has signed a declaration that we will eliminate this disease by 2021 and that is why it becomes important for our examination also remember triple duct therapy recommended by who is for the lymphatic filariasis okay right next we discuss west nile fever not very important but let us discuss the west nile fever first first detected in the west nile district of uganda so many of the diseases zika virus also started in uganda okay zika are the zika forest that are there in the uganda right it is a neurological disease in the human and re uh, results from the bites of the infected mosquito like this just like uh, we have seen in the je similar to the infected bird then infected mosquito and then spread to humans and other animals so no cases of human to human transmission have been found and there is no vaccine available for this so please uh, differentiate it from the uh, disease where the vaccines are there just like yellow fever right 
So please remember and differentiate the diseases with, for which we have vaccines and for which we do not have vaccines. Next is, this is um, your tick responsible for chaos, Kasanur forest disease. As we have discussed already that they are endemic to the places of Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Okay, so these are tick-borne disease. Multiple species, uh, multiple species of tick cause this disease. Again, no human-to-human -human transmission have been found. Okay, right. I'm not discussing, it's also known as the monkey fever. I'm not discussing these because we have already discussed these things. Next is Kalazar, that is sand fly. So sand fly is the vector for the Kalazar disease. So Kalazar responsible species is not virus, not bacteria, but a parasite, protozoa, Leishmania parasite, transmitted to human beings through infected sand fly. So sand fly becomes a vector, right? We have missed, we have made 2017 as the deadline for Kalazar. Now we are, we not able to complete that again the one of the specific symptoms being enlargement of spleen and spleen and river anemia can be caused so you can read about it right so it's an endemic to the indian subcontinent in 19 district 119 district in four countries so south asia south asia it is endemic okay India itself accounts half of the global burden of the disease and that is why our own specific targets for elimination of this. Now we discuss uh, control mechanism. We have discussed many, all the diseases. Then we discuss National Vector Bond Disease Control Program. So this program was launched in 23, 20, uh, sorry, 2003 and 4 for the diseases such as the disease that we have discussed. Malaria, Filaria, Kalazar, JE, Dengue, Chikungunya, which are covered under the National Rural Health Mission. Okay, which is the responsible agency directorate, just one second, which is the responsible disease directorate of the national vector uh, disease control program. Okay, right. So just this much is important for a purposes, not let's revise very quickly. So we discuss only the vector bond disease in this session. We started with Aegypti, Egypti, Chikungunya, Dengue, Yellow Fever and Zika. I forgot to put questions, previous year questions here. So I'll put the previous year question in the next video. Okay, I just forgot to put the previous year question. Are really good, some good questions are there. So I'll put those questions in the next time. For sure, I'll put those questions in the February month, uh, science and tech first part. Okay, right. Anopheles, Bellaria, then Culex. Because with questions only, we, uh, we are able to get it, uh, get the right idea what kind of questions being asked where we should focus in a particular disease because you've seen a lot of content is there but i have not touched many of the content why not relevant the symptoms are never being asked to be honest if any very specific symptoms for example zika there was a specific symptom or a specific outcome syndromes were there and that is why it becomes important otherwise symptoms are more or less common for every disease you have to get it diagnosed it is up to the doctor who tests it and calls for the diagnosis Right. Then ticks, KFD disease and sand fly Kalazar. Let us quickly see chikungunya. Chikungunya, the major thing we have discussed, the joint pain. Right. Then we have discussed this Nila Vembu Kudinar. We have discussed the biosensor technique for the detection, which replaces the which can replace the currently being used RT PCR technique. Then dengue. Dengue may uh, important thing is this Wolbachia bacteria. Please remember that this becomes important for us. Okay, the sexually transmitted disease of uh, dengue that is bound in the Spain. Then yellow fever, yellow fever, not in India, South and South America and Africa. Zika, these two things, Guten, Burren syndrome and microcephaly, right? The cases being reached also India, Bihar cases have been seen. Question has been asked on Zika, so I don't think the question will be asked on Zika, but it can be clubbed with the other disease. Malaria, we have already discussed about malaria. Then Japanese, JE. Many of the uh, happenings are happening in the India and especially the North India, Bihar and the UP. Then the cases, please remember this map, right? The cases are confined now to East Asia, South Asia and Southeast Asia. East Asia means China, Japan, South Korea. Then lymphatic phalaresis, we have already discussed. This is the third time that we are discussing it. West Nile fever, again in Uganda and the same method that is being there in the JE. Then KFT disease endemic to the these three places. And finally, Kalazar that we have discussed, Kalazar uh, spreads through protozoa and 
endemic to India and in a subcontinent half of the cases are in India only then vector bond disease control program so i hope uh, with this we finish our vector vector bond disease only specific i have topic i have taken for this session uh, as i told you i'll try to take compilations more and more so with this we finish our discussion majority of the things majority of the disease i'll discuss in the next session and the previous question as i told you in the february month science center okay so thank you everyone see you in the next class bye bye